Good afternoon. Um, today is the the day of the shiny thing. Um, the trouble with these things is you you, you got to spend all your life polishing them. <laughs> Oh, you, you've got to have non-greasy fingers, and neither of those do I have. This guitar was again made in the 90s, and it's number, uh, somewhere there's a number on it, uh, under where somewhere, I know where it is, it's down here. It's T045, and that means it's a tricone, and it's number 45. Um, Eric Clapton used to have 28, I'm not sure which number Jim Murray's got, Lee Bates has got one and uh, a guy called Kev Conlon in Leeds has got one. This is a, a Beltona guitar. Not a national, it's a Beltona. And it was made back then um, by a guy called Steve Evans, with a, with a mate of his who did the casting. But Steve made the cones and they're different to national cones. There's all sorts of stuff we could talk about. If you want to know the detail, talk to Jim Murray. Jim Murray is the expert on shiny things. He's the best expert I know. Um, told you the story about um, the one that Mr. Phillips, Steve Phillips, nearly sold to me, but then sold to somebody else. It's interesting on the front of the um, Nothing Hillbillies album, the, the four guitars on there either belong to or previously belonged to Steve. Um, he, he got better at um, collecting them and getting there before everybody else. But Jim has, followed very closely and I don't know how many guitars Mr Murray now has, he probably has a, a lot more than he lets on. But as you can hear, these things are very loud again at the moment, I just want to show you something later, I'm, I'm playing without things on the fingers. Um, and This has got um, some, I think it's 15 or something, it, it's got some um, resonator strings of some description on and um, it makes it loud and it makes it and because it's tricones it rings wrong it rings for longer than a single cone does the, 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 the tone it, it doesn't decay uh, as much as as a, as a single cone does and I use this for playing slide on and I, I use it for um, you know, the Robert johnson -y sort of things. I'll play you a couple of bits of, of that in a minute. But there's also quieter things you can, you can play on it. And um, more lyrical songs. It doesn't have to be... <laughs> but the, there's also various bits and tricks. Anyway, I'll stop, I'll stop talking for a bit. And I'll show you some things down here. Um, here are a selection of the, the slides that I use. Um, this, this is a, a typical slide that people have, you know, they stick it on their finger and it, go, it goes right across all the strings. And I'm not going to use that one. And there's all, this one was made for me specially. If you want one of these, they cost £3,000. Jim Murray makes them. And that was made specially for me uh, to fit on this finger. And this is one that I use, and I'm fond of this one because... This was one like that one, you know, a long one, and I was doing a gig um, at the Colm Blues Festival and somebody at a party the night before had stolen my little stubby slide. And in consequence, I went down to the local music shop and bought a long one. And some lovely guys in an engineering shop opposite the railway pub, in the space of half an hour, cut this down so that I had the slide that I wanted. And I thought that was, and they wouldn't take anything for it and I couldn't give them any money. They said, no, 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 just want to hear you play. And I thought that was one of the nicest things, you know, a really, really lovely gesture. I don't know whether those two guys are still there, but um, it, it was a lovely thing they did because they just, they just took the ordinary slide and cut it and then um, polished off the ends so that it's, it's fine to play with. And I've had it ever since, and may I say, this is my busking slide. A slide very similar to this one, but slightly different pattern, was the slide I took out busking a couple of times until you discover that waistcoat pockets are shallow and when you're leaning down to pick up all your money, it goes onto the pavement and it doesn't bounce. <laughs> it, um, 
chatted and I was, I was really fond of it. This one, by the way, and this one and the longer blue one, uh, diamond glass bottlenecks, get in touch with Ian McGree. They're, they're, they're wonderful. They're, they are absolutely delightful. They're perfect. He makes me these things um, to the size that I want because what I like to do, um, I'll put that, um, which one should I play? Yeah, I'll put that one down. I'll play with a pretty one. What I like to do, I think this is a Doug, I think this is called a Doug McLeod one, I can't remember. Doug McLeod's a great guy, if you get a chance to see him, he will entertain you enormously by talking much more, or better bollocks than I can talk. Jim Murray's also very good at talking bollocks. It, it's important to be able to talk bollocks because people get bored with music and they want to be entertained as well. Whoops, careful. Now, um, with a slide, you've got two ways of going. Sorry, this is the this is the busking one. As I say, brass for busking falls on the floor, bounces. There you go. There's different techniques for playing slide, and some people are very keen that you always damp the strings behind the slide when you're playing, so that you don't um, you don't get this you don't get this cadence from this string. So you, so you'd get um, well, a couple Robert Johnsony things. You better come on in my kitchen. play slide you'll always hear Fred, Fred rattle. I am not a careful guitarist you may have noticed I am not a careful guitarist I tend to batter them beat them into submission um, so when you get things like um famous one get excited and, and, and want, to, want to play it louder and to, to whack it and play slide and the one thing I find with Crossroads is there's certain numbers, there's not that many numbers, but there's certain numbers you play and they take over you and you you lose yourself, you just get lost in it. So the, um, whoops, that's it. <laughs> 
Sorry. There's bits you, you play, but you don't know when you're going to play them. You just think, yeah, go down here, go down there, go down here. And it, it's a great song to do. But n not all, them, but let's roll it back, slide. So if you get to do something like the Muddy Waters one, you know, uh, or Mississippi Fred McDowell, uh, play with your fingers isn't enough. Then you need to put little bits of plastic on because it, it makes it um, a lot louder. They're, they're, they're really great, great little amplifiers, these things. I mean, the guitar's an amplifier in itself. I mean, other people will tell you all the deal on, on these guitars, but they were basically designed originally to, to cope with the fact that only the singer had a microphone and, and the guitar had to cope with the band, the drums, the bass and the piano. And so you needed something louder to play single string stuff on, stuff on. But if you take that one I just played there. So if you play down here instead. You get a different attack and on the Fred McDowell one you get. Get much more volume. So you get. If you want to hear Mississippi Fred McDowell drag Ray Stubbs out of retirement, um, he was the man, he was the man for doing it. Um, but a couple of other things, um, which I do, no, no, I won't, I won't. <laughs> yeah, go on. Remember it for another one, but I'll do um, a love struck home. Sing the streets of Serenade, laying everybody low with a love song that you make. You've got to do it, haven't you? Um, but th there are there are lyrical things like, um, and this was true once. This was true many many years ago, more than fifty odd years ago. More, yeah, fifty years. Uh, song by Charlie Lincoln. Again, steel guitar doesn't have to be whacked. I came home this morning. Wife met me at the door. Things like uh, well, the sun going down, and a western behind that western, western hill. I said the sun going down behind the western hill. guitars make a lot of noise but you can't play them quietly you don't have to beat the daylights out of them if you want to hear me you know, look, look shiny look, mirror I've looked after it reasonably well and from time to time I've thought of selling it and then Jim says are you stupid and so I hang on to it and, and play play it from time to time and take it out with me sometimes people really like these they, they think they're they're quite exotic. It's the it's the Art Deco bit, you know. It's the Art Deco bit on the 
on their slots. If there's something you think that I know or should know and you want me to play it, then let me know. Um, but otherwise, that's it for shiny guitars. Uh, next time I come along, I'll do some more slide stuff. I'll do a couple of songs right the way through. Uh, but I'll do them on a the little part, part of the guitar that I take out with me, where again, I, I don't play with picks on my fingers. You've got to treat this with respect because um, it's a beast. And as I say, up in the northeast, where I think a lot of you guys are from, then Lee Bates has got one and plays it beautifully. And um, Jim Murray's got various shiny things and plays them with great gusto and finesse and humour. Thank you ever so much. Um, shorter video this time, but it cannot be long. I, I could talk longer, but I shan't. As I say, made by Peter... Uh, Steve, not Pete Evans, I do know Pete Evans, made by Steve Evans, and you can still go on to beltona.net. Yeah, let's have the plugs. Beltona.net, and you can still buy his Pacifica and Southerner ones. They are made with uh, the fiberglass, but God, they're really loud, and they does not do tricones anymore. He doesn't does them with one cone. But his cones are great and the guitars are, are wonderful. They sound really, really loud. And I know people who've had um, the uh, these fiberglass ones for a number of years, still got them, still amazingly loud, still going on. You're, you're, not, you're not buying something that's gonna fall apart. This of course though is um, bell brass, chrome plated bell brass. And after you've played it for half an hour, your leg goes to sleep because it's so bloody heavy. God, it is, it weighs a ton. Stunning, stunning instrument, wonderful to play. Um, and Ian McQuee, diamond glass bottlenecks for, for any of the slidey things. Um, you can buy them from music shops, but he will make you exactly what you want. Tell him what you want and you'll get it in a couple of days to whatever size, dimensions, thickness of your finger. He, he does them, he makes them. He's the man, trust me, um, of all the people making, making slides, I recommend him. Unless, of course, you've got £3,000 to pay Jim Murray to make you a, a, a nice brass one. And catch up with you again on Wednesday. Um, I'll have a think as to what I'm going to do. I'll probably bring the little parlour that I play slide on and, and do a couple of songs, maybe right the way through, rather than just doing your bits and pieces of stuff. Um, but it's, when you do uh, some numbers right the way through, you, you get... you. You get lost in them, as I said, with, particularly with things like crossroads. And it's quite hard just to sit back and go bit 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 when you've sort of gone off somewhere. It's quite difficult, but I'll see what I can do. So, thank you very, very much. Um, I hope these are okay, by the way, these videos. I mean, a lot of people I know think they're great because it's just like coming to one of my gigs, because this is what happens if you come to one of my gigs. I just talk bollocks really and I put bits of guitar in it between. Um, I have a website. If you go onto that website and then click music and buy music but don't have to buy anything. If you go onto the online bit it takes you through to Bandcamp and you can listen to all the tracks I've recorded over the last five or six years for free. You just, you just play on one and it'll play all the way through for you. It's not a clip, it's all the way through. You want to download the whole album you're very welcome. If you want to buy a CD from me, you can do, but that's not the whole deal here. Listen to the stuff, and if there's something that you particularly like, message me. I, I noticed that of the three, we've got 300 and odd members in this group, and there's not that many saying they like what I do. Maybe they are all electric guitarists, and they think this is quaint. <laughs> they don't know me. Thanks ever so much. Take care. Bye bye.